a tardigrades clause. Tardigrades, also known as water bears, are tiny invertebrates that live in aquatic and semi-aquatic habitats. They are found throughout the world including regions of extreme temperature such as hot springs and extreme pressure such as deep underwater. This water bear was obtained from a cold icy environment. Its claws enable it to move around on icy surfaces. Details of electrodes inside a lithium-ion battery which shows things like thickness of the active material, arresters and separators. Lithium-ion batteries are widespread as rechargeable power sources for portable electronic devices such as smartphones and tablets or for electromobility. As compared to other battery chemistries, lithium-ion batteries feature high energy densities, no memory effect and a relatively low self-discharge when not in use. These advantages explain their rapid spread in the market ever since their commercial introduction in 1991. This is a developing flower bud of a Gunsight Clarkia plant. The flower parts are petals in red, large anthers in blue, small anthers in purple and the style and stigma in yellow. A Stentor cerealis, a protozoan that lives in freshwater and feeds on smaller microorganisms such as bacteria, diatoms, and rotifers. It feeds by creating a micro whirlpool up of its mouth which sweeps foods in its mouth. The whirlpool is created by a row of pulsating cilia around the rim of its mouth. These are human embryonic stem cells that are displaying cytoplasmic projections similar to nerve tissue. Human embryonic stem cells are pluripotent, which means they are able to differentiate into any of the 200 cell types in the human body. The type of cell they mature into depends upon the biochemical signals they receive, though the cells seen here have not been exposed to growth factors. Currently, they are being studied as a way to repair damaged tissue in diseases such as diabetes and Parkinson's. A page from an old book damaged by a woodworm. The hole at the lower left has been caused by a burrowing woodworm. Also, the cellulose plant fibers of the paper can be clearly seen here. A macrophage engulfing TB bacteria. Seen here is a macrophage or white blood cell in purple engulfing a tuberculosis bacterium in pink. This process is called phagocytosis. Macrophages are cells of the body's immune system that phagocytose and destroy pathogens, dead cells and cellular debris. A strawberry seed This is a nebulizer, which is a small machine that turns liquid medicine into a mist. It is used to administer medication in the form of a mist inhaled into the lungs. Nebulizers are commonly used for the treatment of asthma, cystic fibrosis, COPD and other respiratory diseases or disorders. An ant Surface of a foxglove seed. This image shows the seed coat or testa of a foxglove seed. The testa has an irregular honeycomb like structure. The purpose of the seed coat structure is to enhance seed germination. The seed coat traps small particles of dust and soil so that when the seed falls to the ground, it is anchored and can germinate easily. The testa is mechanically protective and limits entry of solutes into the seed. Foxglove plants are found growing wild in Europe and the USA in woodland and on dry heaths. The plant's leaves are the source of drug digitanin, a heart drug for slowing the pulse rate in treatment of heart disease. The flowers are produced on a tall spike, are tubular and vary in color with species. Marburg virus. This tubular RNA virus causes a Marburg hemorrhagic fever in humans and non-human primates. Symptoms of the rare and often fatal disease include fever, muscle pain, rash, diarrhea, and hemorrhage. The virus was first documented in 1967 when there were simultaneous outbreaks of hemorrhagic fever in labs in Marburg and Frankfurt in Germany and in Belgrade in Yugoslavia. 
The outbreak was traced to velvet monkey tissue used in research. These are gas exchange area for cocoons of Osmia chalivia, a species of bee. A scotch tape. Dividing pollen cell, a section through a pollen mother cell from a spiderwort flower during the prophase 2 stage of meiosis showing chromosomes in yellow, nuclear membrane in red, cytoplasm in violet and the cell wall in blue. During meiosis, four daughter nuclei are formed from one parent nucleus after two stages of nuclear division. Meiosis occurs only in the sex cells or gametes. At prophase, the chromosomes, which contain two identical chromatids, are made of deoxyribonucleic acid, condensed into defined units, allowing organized and equal segregation into daughter cells. These are silicon microspheres, ingredients found in sunscreen. Besides protecting against UV radiation, silicon microspheres provide a thermoregulator effect thanks to the strong scattering properties of the microspheres in the infrared range of frequencies. Titanium dioxide and zinc oxide nanoparticles form the main active components of sunscreens. Unlike the organic sunblocking agents used in many sunscreens, these metal oxides do not degrade with exposure to sunlight. A salamander larva A flower's ovary surface. These are outer surface of the ovule inside a flower. These surface cells protect the developing embryonic cells inside the ovule. Human skin molds are common skin lesions. They are currently called melanocytic nevi as they are due to a proliferation of the pigment cells melanocytes. If they are brown or black in color, they may also be called pigmented nevi. Moles are harmless in nature but a cancerous mole may arise within a mole. Red licorice Unlike the black licorice which is made from the roots of licorice plant, red licorice isn't really licorice at all. It's just a red candy which can be made with many different flavorings including strawberry, cherry, raspberry and cinnamon. French lavender leaf surface showing the tooth-like structures called trichomes, which give the plant its Latin name dentata, meaning toothed. A number of oil glands can also be seen. When the leaf is touched or damaged, the glands rupture and release the oil that gives lavender its distinctive fragrance. Water fleas are small crustaceans commonly found in fresh water. They are filter feeders that ingest algae, protozoa or organic matter and are constituent of plankton. The surface of a chalk ice. This frozen food is made from a bar of ice cream covered in chocolate. These are unknown chemical powder. Scorpions have unique sensory combs called pectins on their ventral sides. The combs sense textures of surfaces and detect chemical traces of their own species. Scientists also use them to distinguish males which have larger pectins with more teeth from females. This is the surface of paper money and if you look closely, you can see bacteria on it. Lichens are organisms formed by the symbiotic association of a fungus and a green alga or cyanobacterium. The fungus grows a network of hyphae that extract nutrients from photosynthesizing algae. The hyphae can also absorb minerals from rainwater or acidic digestion of the substrate. Xanthoria lichen are classified as folios due to the appearance of branches with flattened leaf-like structures. 
This picture shows tooth bacteria in a hole resulting from tooth decay. These bacteria belong to the normal oral flora. Under certain conditions like the presence of sugar, some bacteria produce lactic acid, which attacks the enamel and causes caries. A snout beetle. These are plant-eating beetles with a characteristic long down-curving snout. The antenna have small claws and are elbowed. The first segment of the antenna usually fits into a special groove on the side of the snout. There are thousands of species discovered so far. The balance organ also called halter of a mosquito. There are two of these organs in the dipterious insects. They are modified and reduced hind wings that help the insect sense its orientation and remain correctly balanced. A nematode emerging from the antenna of a black fly. This parasite is an arthropod borne roundworm that causes river blindness and is the second leading cause of blindness due to infection worldwide. Grains of a phosphor powder used to coat the inside of a fluorescent light bulb. It is this powder that emits the light. This is triggered by a series of events starting with an electric current passing through mercury vapor inside the fluorescent light bulb. The electric current excites the electrons in the atom of mercury. These electrons release energy as energetic photons that hit the phosphor powder on the inside of the bulb, and the same process of electron excitation and energy loss produces safer and lower energy photons of light that illuminate the surroundings. A bedbug's penis.